Some time ago while playing Sea of Thieves with friends, one of them asked me, what was the most stressful game you have ever played? It got me thinking. Naturally, I leaned toward horror games at first, but then I remembered some other titles which stressed me for some other reasons. And well, I decided to grade them in a video, so enjoy. Before we start, here are some honorable mentions, which I still remember as pretty stressful, but they lost in a race for top 5. First, I have to talk about Mass Effect 2's suicide mission. I perceive Mass Effect 2 as my favorite game in the franchise, particularly because Bioware took the staple of its game design, which was recruiting a team, and made it the main point of the story. So we've got all those memorable characters, did some missions with them, and then you are tasked to run so-called suicide mission, where they can die. This whole segment was so tense for me, I was just so stressed about my choices, as I didn't want to lose any crew member. And well, I lost Mordin. Another honorable mention goes to Doom 3. This entry in the franchise tried to go in a way of more of a horror game. I played it a year after release and I was 15 or 16 at that time. The overwhelming darkness and the claustrophobic corridors were truly unnerving. Still, I managed to beat the game. The last honorable mention goes to Kara's storyline in Detroit Become Human. I have played this game last year, the late review link will be in the description. There are three playable characters with different interactive storylines. All of them and their surrounding secondary NPCs can die at various points in the story. All of that depends on your choices and execution of quick time events. It's the first time where I seriously thought about my character and in some situations decided to turn away rather than trying to be a hero. One mistake could lead to death. Kara's playthrough was the most nerve-wracking for me, as she tries to protect the little girl, Alice. Almost every chapter of her adventure has her dealing with some shady characters or dangerous situations. It made me feel so uneasy and tense. So yeah, great game, try it. Ok, so number 5, it goes to Resident Evil 7, mostly because of its 10 starting areas. The first time I had entered the ruined house, I was just waiting for a jump scare. Then I found the videotape. In an ingenious way, developers force player to play as one of the characters from the videotape. Camera crew goes through the same house that your actual character, Ethan, is right now. Then they get attacked in the basement and the footage cuts, leaving you with no choice but to follow their steps. Other notable moments from Resident Evil 7, which induced a great deal of stress to my poor soul, were playing cat and mouse with Jack Baker and this dreadful basement of Baker residence. Damn, I hated it so much. Number 4. This one goes to StarCraft 2 Ranked PvP. I was 20, 21 when I was certain that I'm gonna be the next big esports star. Yeah, yeah, I know, let's cut the judgement. But it's a great topic to be explored in another video. Anyways, as StarCraft 2 was one of the most popular esports game at that time, I was fully invested. I watched every tournament I could, even small ones. Each day I was obsessively checking Team Liquid forums and news. As I never before played on the RTS competitively, I had to learn a lot. In StarCraft 2, the ranked mode pits two players against each other. There is no team to blame for your mistakes, it's either you or the opponent. Even without my wishes to become a pro, each time I play in ranked modes in other games, I try to do the best I can. I'm stressing myself to improve and win, so when the stakes felt even more real with my delusions of becoming a pro, it actually was really stressful. I remember forcing myself to play for 6-7 hours a day, climbing competitive ladder. Of course, after some time I came to my senses, but playing competitive StarCraft ladder was definitely quite a stressful experience. Third place goes to Amnesia. I have played this game back in its heyday, encouraged by some YouTubers who gave it a try, notably Day9. I don't care, run run run! I remember that I always played it in the evenings or at night. I turned all of the lights in my room. I even changed the lightning on my keyboard to red so it would be spookier. Amnesia was scary. The game was so scary in fact that I had to take breaks from it. 
there were moments where I just couldn't continue. But as it is with most horror games, getting further in the game makes you develop some sort of a tolerance. So the ending was definitely less tense than the first half. That's why it's on the third place. Second place go to Alien Isolation. There's a clear trend here. Horror games are just the most stressful for me. I tried Alien Isolation in 2016, maybe 2017. I remember being in awe of how faithfully they recreated environments from the movies. And well, the first thing here, the sounds. Holy hell, Alien Isolation could scare me with only sounds. That's how good they are. The entirety of the first level made me cowering in fear, waiting for the inevitable alien confrontation. Then when the alien appeared later on, and the great game of cat and mouse began, I just checked out. I was playing the game on one of the harder difficulties, so Xenomorph was even more relentless in its pursuit. After a couple of sessions I just felt so drained and so stressed out that I stopped playing. To this day I haven't finished the game. And it grinds my gears as it reduces my overall achievement completion rate on my Steam account. Yet I cannot bring myself to replay the game. So that's why Alien Isolation lands on second place. And in the first place we have first Alien vs Predator game, notably the Marine campaign. This one might be weird because I played AVP a long time ago. I was 11, 12 at that time. This was the scariest, most tense game I have ever played. It might not be fair to other newer titles as I'm older now and I perceive things differently. So if I had played this game right now, it would probably not be scary, nor stressful. But this is my list. And when I have played the game as a kid, I couldn't handle it at all. The atmosphere of AVP was just so tense and scary. Even Xenomorph campaign felt only weird and uncomfortable. As a Predator fan, I remember getting the furthest in this playthrough. Yet I remember specifically that when I had reached the level where you unlock pistol, the first level where player is facing aliens, nah, that was too much. But all that pales in comparison to the Marine campaign. This one was so scary that I couldn't get through a couple of first Xenomorph encounters. Whenever a sinister peep could be heard and a white dot appeared on the scanner, my stress levels rose into oblivion. The fun fact is that I actually was able to see second marine level as my younger brother, who has much stronger tolerance for horror games, managed to get through the first level and unlock the second one. The one with the smart gun. Still, even watching him play was nerve-wracking for me. So there it is. That's my list. If you don't agree with it, then that's fine. This is how I see things. But I'm really curious about your most stressful games. Share your experiences in the comments. And I guess that's all from me. Bye.